Hey guys, this is Army Tricks from Game Tech doing a video on how to install a bucket server with plugins for Minecraft 1.7.2 or above. So this works with the latest version as well, 1.7.4 when it's out. So let's go. First of all, you'll need a server for your folder. I've just called it YouTube Server Demo because it is for YouTube and it's a server and it's a demo. So let's open this folder up and you'll need to download this file file this jar file and you'll need to download it from this website dl.bucket.org slash download slash bucket and download the latest version I downloaded the dev build which is the 1.7.2 build which is the one out now development builds tend to be quite stable anyway so it doesn't matter if you da have to download a dev build they tend to be quite stable anyway if they're not try an older version like a recommended build or a beta build so once you've downloaded that save it into your folder your server folder and right click rename and rename it craft bucket after you've renamed it double click it and now it should start exporting files into this folder right here okay now by the now it should have finished um, exporting all its files and I've created two extra files this file and this file right here now you'll need to create those but remember before double clicking that file to rename it craft bucket and now you'll need to create a new text document like this and you'll need to copy out this piece of code which I'll leave in the description and you'll need to paste it in and then click file save as and find all types and then name it launch dot bat which is what I've already done and by the way this this over here represents how much RAM space you want to use by default it's 1024 but I'm using 3072 because I have 8 gigs of RAM and I don't mind using 3 gigs of it on my server to make it run smoother so if you don't have a very good computer, I recommend using one gig at the minimum. Okay. Now once you've done that, you're almost ready to launch your server. Click on this here, which means um, which is the server properties file. And if this isn't on 25565, change it to 25565 or whatever port you forwarded. I forwarded 25575, which is the one I use allow flight you want to enable this in case people are using flight plugins etc and look through here so you choose these settings if you want a whitelist if this is a private server I set this to true and add people's names to the whitelist the whitelist can be located right here you just add your friends name to that list and they are allowed to go in to your server PVP you choose if it's create if it's a building server then set that to no or false otherwise keep it on true if you're playing good old normal Minecraft command blocks if you want people cheating set that to true otherwise don't your max players keep that on 20 because most people's computer couldn't handle any more than that spawn monsters true if you want normal Minecraft view distance 10 your MOTD is your server your server's motto basically or message before people log in you can change that to whatever you want you could call it well for my sakes I'm gonna call it game text server so people know what they're logging into etc then save that and close and now you're ready to launch your server so double click the launch button and it should say loading libraries on your first try it should need to download quite a few things if you need to otherwise it won't and then after it's finished downloading the libraries it will quite finish fairly quickly depending on how good your computer is that's finished quite quickly and you're done there you go you have your server up and if you need people to join it you'll need to for port, port forward your server which I'll show you how to do right now to port forward your server you'll need to go to this website well, you'll need to go to portforward.com There you go. 
Now you're on portforward.com, you'll need to find your guide for your router. So, port forwarding guides. Now find your router, mine is a Virgin router, so I'm going to use that. Uh, Virgin Media. Close the ad if anyone comes up. And I have Superhub number 2. And now choose your game, we're looking for Minecraft. Uh, wherever it is. This would be right here. You can also port forward for an Xbox 360 edition. And now we've selected normal Minecraft. Now you need to set up a static IP on your computer. Uh, you don't have to do that, but you can do that if you want to. So to find out your internal IP, type in CMD. And then over here on C users, whatever your username is, type in ipconfig slash all. Hit enter. And scroll up a bit and find gateway, wherever that is default gateway here it is 192.168.0.1 now type that in here if you want to you don't have to normally it is 192.168.0.1 sometimes it could be .1.1 .1, depending on your router all routers have .1.1 .1 or .0.1 .1. now type that in if you're connected to your router and you should be connected to your router. Type your router's password. This can normally be found at the back of your router. Click sign in. Uh, if that doesn't work, try again. There we go. Advanced settings it should be where it normally is for most. But you should experiment a bit. Try and find it. Port for this. These port forwarding guides should help you and add a name, a rule, and your start port is by default 25565 but some people's don't work so I'd start, I'd do 25575 and 25575 on the end and start port your protocol wants to be TCP and UP, UDP now go back into this and you will need to scroll down a bit this time and find your IPv4 address. This mine is 192.168.0.2, so here type 2. That is a computer it will be hosted on. Then click add rule, and then apply, and now you can sign out if you want to. Now you're done, your server should be open for anyone to join, and it should work pretty much for anyone. So click launch and anyone can now join it after the libraries have been loaded. Now we'll need to move on to the plugins part of this. Now for the plugins section we we'll just need to quickly shut down the server. There we go. You'll need to find a thing called plugins right here. And it should be called plugins right here and it's very simple what you do. You need to head over to this website, which is plugins.bucket.org, and find a plugin that you want. Uh, a well, a favorite is World Edit. This is a very popular plugin which you can get, and it allows you to edit your world in ways that you want. Or World Guard. World Guard's also very useful. Let's download World Guard actually. But World Guard won't work without World Edit installed in the first place. Admin tools tend to be quite useful as well. Um, let's get rid of that World Edit part. Move on to Admin Tools, and you can find quite a few tools right here. Make sure they're designed for your version, so you can check that once you click it. Wait for it to load. And you can check that right here for Minecraft 1.7.2 that's fine click download and download again double check the game version right here and you want to download this into your plugins folder so find your plugins folder and click save make sure you've got the jar file if there's a if there's a winrar file open it up and the jar file should be inside and I saved it to here. Now launch your server, and after it's loaded its libraries, it will start to um, load your plugins. And then it should work, as far as I know.
and there we go it's just enabled admin time enabled and you can log into your server from minecraft by typing in your external ip this you must send to your friends so they can join too so type ip up here and google and you should get your external ip right here click copy and on minecraft you will need to type that in i'll just get a text file um notepad plus plus new and paste your ip into it and type your port in with a colon so you put your external ip a colon and your port mine's 25575 and once you've done that you are pretty much done you send this to your friends and they can join directly to your server thanks for watching guys and that is how to create a bucket server with plugins please like this video because this took me quite a while to make see ya